Hi, it's another YouTube from Michael Polarski, Friends of the Trees. And uh, I'm planting some plants today in this big sheet mulch. I'm at my uh, garden here in Port Townsend, Washington. There's uh, some two year, uh, some things out here and they're are just going into the third season. This is May 31st, so they're just getting going. And I'm putting in a bunch of new plants because we dug a lot of things last year. We had a lot of annuals in here. So this sheet mulch was laid down three weeks ago about, and there's cardboard under here. And uh, it's covered with hog fuel, which is a mixture of half chips and half bark. Bark's a lot more minerals, etc., compared to just chips. So it's a hog fuel. So um, I'm having to go through the cardboard to get into the ground down there. And so I find my hoe dad here works really good. This blade used to be that long, but it's been wore down that much over all my years of hoe dadding. And I can just poke a hole through the cardboard and the mulch. And I have to make a planting pocket in here. So I'm dumping some soil mix, pre-mixed, in here. And then I grab my plant, in this case a catnip. We're putting in a little catnip. And, and that goes into my little planting pocket. It's firmed in really good around the roots, pull the mulch back a little bit, and that's ready to go. Why the blue line, you may ask, the electric line? That's because I want a nice straight row in here. And because I have a lot of plants to put in. So orderliness helps. So there's my planting pocket. Here's my little baby plant into the soil so you want you want you don't want chips around that little and then i throw some more soil in on top of it so pull back in goes pretty quick and with the planting pocket you can see i get a nice deep hole with this hoe down here and it really holds the hole open and with my little plant so it's 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 perched at about oh just at soil level maybe just above the soil level but it's got a clear path all the way down to the ground so this takes one swing with a hoe dad it's only one layer of cardboard thick if this is two or three layers it definitely take a little more chopping there's another one and so forth so there's Planting mix. So you want a nice planting pocket of soil so you can mulch, pull the mulch back. The last step is because there's a lot of carbon in there. Some of it fell, some of those chips fell in the soil. So I have here my magical mix. I pour at the base of the plant. It's going to soak into that planting pocket there. This mix is uh, a bit of fish, kelp. Some soluplex, which is uh, helps helps some rock some of the soil nutrients. So these are all organic amendments, but I want to get some nitrogen to the plants here and some fertilizer right at its planting pocket to just to help help it really go. So you can see I'm going to put two two little drinks next to it. So that's going to soak in there. This will get irrigated in a couple of days and water the whole area in. But these would be good to go. The soil under there is moist, and so they're good to go, even if I didn't um, irrigate. At least, but it, it will be helpful. So there's this technique. It's a uh, it's real easy. You can do it the day you make the sheet mulch, or you can wait for a while. I like to do it while the cardboard's still intact. Okay, go out there and try it at home. Everybody go out and sheet mulch. Good thing. You can cover your lawn. Bye. How's that?